So your Google business listing is ranking well in Google Maps for your location and you are getting some healthy leads. But you're an ambitious entrepreneur and you'd like to grab a bigger slice of the pie by extending your geographical reach to other neighborhoods. You've tried everything to rank your Google profile in multiple zip codes outside of yours, including watching my videos. But nothing seems to work. After doing a bit more research, you realize that unless you have a Google business profile set up in locations in which you are trying to rank for, it's unlikely to happen because that's the way the Google local algorithm works. But you don't want to give up that easily and you start thinking about how you can work around this limitation and suddenly it comes to you. Why not create a second Google business profile in the area where you want to rank so you can attract more customers? Surely that should work. Guess what? It does. The more business profiles you have, the more likely searchers will find your business on Google Maps. While this sounds simple enough, it isn't. Google has very specific guidelines when creating multiple listings and unless you abide by them, you could put your entire business at risk. Let's go through when and how you can create additional listings without jeopardizing your business, starting with the simplest scenario. Let's imagine you run a business with a physical location customers can visit, such as a coffee shop, a grocery store, a barber shop, and so on, for which you've already created a Google profile. You've been doing so well that you've decided to expand and are opening a second branch in another part of town. If this is the case, you'll want to create an additional Google business profile listing to represent your second branch so searchers can find it on Google Maps when they are looking for a business like yours in that new location. To create your second listing, just go to Google and sign in to the Google account you use to manage your first business profile. In the Google search bar, type my business and click search. You should see your existing listing showing up in search results. Only you can see it. Click on the view profile button. This will display your Google business panel and an interface where you can edit, update and enhance your profile. Click on the three dots above the main panel and from the drop down menu, select the option, add a new business profile. Enter your business name. At this stage, you should see the existing listing. Select the option that says, create a business with this name. Then start building the business profile for your new location. I'm not going to go through the process here since you've likely already done this before. But before completing the process, make sure you abide by the following Google's guidelines. The locations of a business must share the one category that best represents the business. So if your first location was set as barbershop, the second location should also be barbershop. All business locations within the same country must have the same name for all locations. For example, all Home Depot locations should use the name The Home Depot rather than Home Depot or The Home Depot Miami. The next points I'm going to go through are not guidelines, but more recommendations. Create a dedicated page on your website for your new location so you can link directly to it from your second Google business profile. This will create relevance and help your listing rank on Google Maps. Some businesses with a physical address such as lawyers or therapists, for example, don't always have a storefront. If this is the case, ensure your new location has clear and visible outside signage. Take pictures of it and add them to your new Google business profile. To edit your listing, just sign into the Google account associated with it. Both listings should now be displayed in search results. Select the one you want to edit. If you open more branches, just follow the same process. Let's move on to our second scenario. But before I do, I'd like to ask you for a favor. I would be grateful if you could please hit the like button as it helps my channel grow and allows me to continue making more videos so I can help you out. Thanks a lot. If you don't run a physical location business customers can visit, but instead you serve them directly at their home, you will be considered as a service area type of business. Typical examples would be plumbers, locksmith, window cleaners, etc. If you are a service area type of business, you may have noticed some of your competitors have been able to create a second listing and in some cases, a lot more than that, which is giving them a huge advantage. 
there is a good reason for it. While it's very difficult to fake a physical location to create a second listing, it is a lot easier for service area businesses to pretend they operate from multiple locations. All they need is an address in zip codes where they want to be visible and set up a listing from there. Using a friend, family member or employee's address is often used to create those additional listings. Although this is against Google's guidelines, many unscrupulous business owners, including your competitors, are aware of this flaw and use this spammy technique to dominate large geographical areas on Google Maps. Thankfully, Google is tightening up its grip on fake listing and in 2021 alone, removed 7 million fake business profiles. Using ineligible addresses will often result in listing being suspended at an account level. This means that if you get caught using this strategy, all your listings will be suspended at once, even the legitimate ones. So unless you like to live dangerously and for your business to disappear from Google Maps overnight, I wouldn't try this out. If you want to create a second listing for your service business without running the risk of being suspended, you need to fulfill the following requirements. The business must be registered or have some form of official documentation. The location must be staffed by an employee. You should have separate staff operating for each location. It must be located at an eligible address. This is a very important point and I will talk about it a bit more in the next chapter. The service area specified for the location must be different from your first listing and not overlap. The boundaries of the service areas shouldn't extend farther than about two hours of driving time from where the location is based. It should have its own phone number. The location's address shouldn't be displayed in the listing. The listing should link to a dedicated page on your website. If you think your service business can match these requirements, you can safely claim your second listing. Just like we did in the example of a physical location, sign in to the Google account you use to manage your first business profile, which should bring up your original listing. Click on the three dots to start creating your second listing. As you are creating a profile for a service area business, you won't see the, your original business listing appearing in the drop-down option. Just add your business name and the category, then click on Next. This time, when asked if you want to add a location customers can visit, like a store or office, just tick the No option. On the next screen, add the areas where your staff will be operating, making sure they don't overlap with your other listing. Complete the process by remembering to include a unique phone number and a dedicated link to a page on your website. Once you're done, you should receive a verification code at the address where your second location is based so you can verify it and start optimizing it to climb up the rankings on Google Maps. A key requirement when claiming a second Google business profile for service businesses is for the new location to have an eligible address, like an office address, for example. Many service business owners who want to benefit from the additional exposure extra listings would provide don't have an office address and try working around this aspect using various tactics. More often than not, these tactics will result in a Google account suspension and is not worth the risk. So don't be tempted. Here is what not to do when claiming your listing. Using employees' addresses. Using employees' addresses to claim a listing in the geographical area where you are trying to gain more visibility is not wise. When employees decide to jump ship and work for another company, you'll either need to remove the listing or change the address associated with it, which very often causes suspensions. Using friends and family's addresses. Very similar to using employees' addresses. What happens when your friends or family member move out of their property? Using a virtual office. Attempting to claim a location using a virtual office is definitely not a good idea if you're a service area business. Here is a tweet that comes directly from the Google business team making this very clear. Using a co-working space. Just like virtual offices, if you're a service area business, using a co-working space address to claim a listing is like walking with a target on your back. It's a suspension waiting to happen. No need to take the risk. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit the like button. If it was your first time here today, why not subscribe to the channel to get the most up-to-date tips? And until next time, happy marketing.